in memory of the Ukrainian Heavenly Hundred. Deduction space icon indicates that you have found sufficient clues. Wow, that was so fast! I don't think I can customize my character. Maybe I can, I don't know. Part 4, Chapter 1. Uh oh. What am I supposed to be looking at? There's literally nothing anyway. Oh shit, okay. that was just a cutscene where I had a reticle or something. Holmes, will you stop that? Oh, I play as Watson? That's gay. You are utterly mad. Sherlock? Is that you, Watson? Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Blindfolded? Watson, <laughs> quiet please. I'm trying to concentrate. Ah, Lestrade. What is it this time? He can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. A gentleman by the name of Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, has been murdered. A sailor, most probably. What happened here? Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. I couldn't think of a better use for it. You're out of your mind. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? Am I the only sane one here? I suppose that Watson is right, Inspector. A little brain work would be preferable now. Do please tell us more about Black Peter. Peter Carey, born in 1845 and 50 years old. An ambitious sort, he achieved much success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia retired in 1884 with a small fortune. He invested his money in a property called Woodman's Lee, near Forest Row in Sussex. It was where he lived for six years, and where he was found dead yesterday. Has the investigation already begun? Yes and no. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join me down there. Give me half an hour to prepare, Inspector. Take your time and join me there. I have to go through the yard first. The many men struck again. What have they done this time? They robbed a powder reserve. I'll meet you at Woodman's Lee, Mr. Holmes. Mr. I should help Holmes. Mrs. Hudson here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. I shall go alone then. Hmm, yes. Press tab. Oh snap, I got to select the suit. My analysis table. It is useful for my work. The controls are pretty clunky, not gonna lie. They should have made this point and click. Ooh. Why am I spying on them? Who knows? You go along them? to Peter Carey's house. Mrs. Hudson and I will Map. Door. Oh, here's my wardrobe. 
my archive. Can I combat roll? Oh, what a mess! What a terrible mess! I'm sorry, Mrs. Hudson. I was promised I can... I can select uh, an outfit. But I don't see anything. Maybe it'll automatically let me go when I go there. I cannot leave yet. I Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, yeah, it's marvelous. Oh, that's Watson's room. Where's my room? Ah, fantastic. Gross. Oh, that's pretty cool. Can't decide what to wear. Green suit. Gray suit. It's locked. How do I unlock it? Oh boy, you can be bald. Now we cat. A hat. Where's the where's the Sherlock Holmes hat? Where's the deer stalker? Fantastic. Where's just the mustache? Now I just look like Robert Downey Jr. What the fuck? Hey, Blinken. <laughs> Alright, good enough. Wow, it defaulted me because everything was not locked, unlocked it. That's fine. I'm leaving by. Off, off to solve mysteries, I am. Alright, what clues do we have? Alright, I have zero clues. Fantastic. Mr. Holmes, I'm over here. Come on. Who's there? Hi. Footprints. I'm gonna step all over them. Oh, oh, I'm supposed to hit P. Oh, I'm, I was Sherlock Holmes vision. Stone pathway. Footprints. Elementary. Hello. Cheerio. Mr. Holmes? Mr. Ho it seems that the garden was well. Ah, yes. The garden was very well maintained.
All right, Mr. Peter was a uh, was a god in there. Yes. Cheerio, did you lot see something? Inspector Lestrade, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Mr. He's Sherlock detective. Holmes. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Is there a gardener? The garden is very large and well maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true. Well, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. He is the gardener. Madam, can you tell me if you the saw wife did it. or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? I feel like I asked well, that question already. Peter got drunk in the <laughs> evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually, whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. Sounds like a good evening. What's this button? Oh, cool. Oh, cool, look. I'm like... Using my sweet. Oh, baby. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. But it's it was pretty fun husband. so far. He was different, wasn't he? When you first met Except him. Except I on your randomly just clicked Earth. everything there, so. Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh my goodness, but how do you know about that? Because I'm Sherlock Holmes. Oh shit, it's a quick time event. But how do I know? You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela that was a guess. when you were young. That Sounds much good. is evident from the rosary in your hand. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. Wow. Fantastic. Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock. I noticed the cabin door was open, but I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and... Oh dear. Oh dear. Did he have visitors? Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? Oh no, I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. We lived quite an isolated life here, after his retirement. What did he used to do? Thank you, madam. Was well, that it? Did I get lots of evidence? Is there more people to talk to? I have so many questions. Sherlock Holmes sounds. Nothing, okay. Mr. Hi, I got, some, I got some clues. Oh, JK, you don't want to hear them. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's investigate the house. AKA Break and Enter. JK. Oh, there's someone over there I can talk to. This is a pretty big house. It's pretty well off. It seems that the garden is well maintained. What's up, Lashad? 
Peter Carey's body is inside the cabin. We took care not to touch anything. Okay, let me in then. The door is locked. <laughs> Wait just oh, a yes. moment, Mr. Holmes. Elementary. I locked it yesterday. What a crucial sure deduction. No one should enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence. Ah, good thinking. Hello, hello, hello. What is it, Lestrade? It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. Home sense. Door lock. Scratches. These scratches are fresh. Oh, fresh. Did I really need to do that myself? You're right. Someone tried to force <laughs> open the door. I swear these scratches were not here yesterday. Now, a mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have the right tool. Like a key. <laughs> Where's the body? Oh, shit. What a terrible way to die. Tell me about it. God damn, that's gonna cause some disease. Harpoons for hunting. Old navigation instrument. Oh, I took his boots. Peter carries boots. They look to be a size eight. Cool, I'm just gonna take all his shit, because he's dead. Hmm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. I'm gonna take stuff from the shelf too. The tooth of a sperm whale. Probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. Hold the fence. Suspiciously empty space. Yes. Outline in the dust. This place is not covered with dust, like the rest of the shelf. An object was taken from here. It was larger than a book. A box or a small chest, perhaps. Like how I have a talent called imagination talent. Let's examine the dead body. The weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. Oh, yeah, let's, let's fucking this take the goddamn play. murder weapon. Or this blood, Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife, but he did not succeed. J H N are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. Hmm. The pattern of the blood stain indicates that the notebook was not locked. Oh, yes, let's open it. Ah, yes. These abbreviations mean something. We what? must break the code. If this was a horror game, this dude would just pop Peter up Carey and kill was me fully right now. Dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his murderer. It's probably one of those pictures here. Peter Carey was impaled to the wall by a wailing harpoon. This man is in his fifties, yet he still looks quite strong. Oh, is that it? I 
need more clues. What happens if I make like fucked up deductions? Like, no gardener. Okay. Okay. Oh shit, that actually worked? Oh, because the person. Someone was here yesterday. The person who they dropped the book to tried the door to get back. To get it back. The sea unicorn. Yes. She was the ship that Peter Carey commanded. Organize an ambush. Okay. What up, Lestrade? We have important matters well, to attend to. What do you think? Now, I think that we are lucky. And why is that? Because of last night's attempted break-in. Oof. You've lost me. It is very probable that whoever came here hoped to find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they failed. What will they do? Why, return tonight, when they will be better prepared. Aha! So what do you propose? We shall remain on the outside, near the window, where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. We have a long night ahead of us. Alright, let's see. Policeman, nope. We need to find a good place for an ambush. Perhaps behind Carey's cabin, near the window. What, and he's not gonna notice all of us fucking hiding here? This looks like the perfect hiding place. Okay. Are we gonna shoot the murderer? Supposed murderer? Alleged murderer? Shh! Did you hear that? Yo, why don't we jump this guy right now? There's someone there. I'm gonna collar him. I'll be right behind you. Police! Hold it right there! What if I just stay here behind the heaven? A Sherlock Holmes site. Oh god, it's so fucking dark I can't see Mr. Anything. Holmes! Come and see what we've caught in our net! Ah, cheerio. All right, my fine fellow. Who are you and what are you doing here? You're detectives, I suppose. You imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey. I assure you I'm innocent. This guy's fucking innocent. guilty. And what are you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey. But we were here, waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I... Oh. I didn't... JHN. You deny that you came here yesterday? No, but... but I... yes, it, it's just that I couldn't... I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. What? But you can't! I'm not... it's a terrible mistake! Enough! You can explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the yard. But... In light of recent events, it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. What the Holmes. fuck? I did everything. You are welcome, Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. I would like to question him tomorrow morning.
saw the dead guy shit shoot. Alright, that's as good a time as any to stop there.